welcome back to the channel. My name is Max. I am the fast talking flipper. Angie's my better half. She's, I don't really know what she's doing right now. She's inside somewhere. I don't know. I've been outside dilly dallying, so I don't know what she's up to. But uh, today is our midweek pool video. That means we've got to go through what sold through the middle of the week. Uh, tell you about that kind of stuff. Talk about a topic. It is Wednesday. I didn't do a video yesterday because still sales are kind of slow. Not even going to lie. I have uh, pushed more on car parts lately. So I'll talk about that. But um, we are resellers. We are here in the Cincinnati area. We buy low at yard sales, estate sales, thrift stores, that kind of thing. And we put it online and sell it for more at a profit, usually on eBay. But we do also offer on Facebook Marketplace or Facebook. And you'll see here in just a minute how that happened. Um, today is now Wednesday. Normally I do this Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and that's my midweek bull video. And I put that out and show you guys what is sold, you know, how much we you can expect to get for things when they, you know, yard sale finds that kind of stuff. Mine's a little bit different because I do focus on one particular car. And in this video, it is going to be heavy on that. I just came inside from selling a bumper for a car. Oh, it's a long story, but I've had this bumper for a long time and have sold it once. I've never heard back, and tell me if you guys have had this happen, um, where you, you have to hold something for an excessively long time. What is the longest amount of time, comment down below, what's the longest amount of time that you have had to hang on to an item for someone? Because I've been holding on to an item for almost two years and I have not heard from the person and they've never come back for it. So, and they paid for it. They paid full price for it and it's been sitting here, but they have they were here, said, hey, I've got to go do something. Uh, I, I'll come back and I'm going to buy more stuff from you. Hang on to this and I'll be back. Never heard back from them. So I sold it again. I, I'm done waiting and, uh, you know, having this thing sit in my side yard. And it was a front bumper for an HHR SS. Sold it for $250. Got that one out of here. Um, I did have to ship something yesterday. I had to ship. I had to print the label out for it. It is this NARC PS2 game. $24.98 is what I believe it sold for. $24.98. I had to print the label out. It's, it was sold late last night uh, or late. I had to print it out by last night and it wasn't going to go out last night because I printed it after, um, after it was time to ship, you know, after the post office already picked up. So it's here today. Uh, it doesn't uh, go on my total because I've got three items that have sold for $431 and 49 cents, 431 49 my first of which being, um, and this is weird because I had to take something off of marketplace and list it on eBay. And this is a, I have, I think I've done this before, but I haven't done it anytime recently. Um, and I'll talk to you about it when we get there. I've got this little Tupperware bin of Flareon, uh, Pokemon Tupperware bin for Flareon, a little sandwich pack. Um, somebody posted about these in one of the eBay groups. They said they had them, how much are they sell them for? And when they posted up the link on their eBay store, they uh, the, the price was too low. It was like twenty nine ninety five, thirty three dollars, something like that. And I bought three of them. <clears throat> Each one of them has sold for twenty four ninety five. $24.95, that's my last of them. Not a great profit, but still pretty darn good. $24.95 on that one. Um, this is my next one. I had this listed on Facebook. Somebody contacted me on Facebook and they asked me to put it on eBay. I guess they want the, to use a credit card and they wanted the uh, buyer protection. I had originally sold it for one price and then they said, put it on eBay. And I said, I'm gonna have to raise it because I get charged more fees there. And I said, how about this? I'll eat part of the fees. Let's go ahead and do that, and I'll put it there. What this is is a tachometer and boost gauge for a Saturn Ion Redline. It's a pretty rare piece. They only made a 1,000 of these. There's only a 1,000 of these cars that were produced with this in it, so it's pretty rare. And because of that being rare, and I, I don't know why I hoard them, but I do. I have three of them. I didn't want to get rid of it. It felt bad to even dig it out of inventory, but I sold it for $320 shipped, and that's going out the door like that. So that was a pretty darn good sale there. And my next one is a set of left-handed Callaway golf clubs. And this is why I have to get better at listing. We have to list more stuff. I just listed these and I took an offer on them. Um, the reason I took an offer on them is because they're an incomplete set and I felt like they would not sell quickly and they're left-handed, they're women's, blah, 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 blah. It is this set here, these, these all these here, and uh, I'm gonna ship those out. I'm not gonna pull them down because they're gonna get in the way of everything. And I just don't feel like it, I'm tired. I am real tired. I need more carbs. That's what it is. 
Uh, I've been dieting. I've been carnivore. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I've been carnivore for about two months and uh, I keep getting kicked out of keto. I want to say I had these listed for like fifty nine ninety nine. I might have had them listed for sixty nine ninety nine. I had no idea what they should sell for because there was not a set. Most sets that were listed were listed with more clubs. They were a wider range set and uh, mine was missing several. So I listed them cheap to get them gone. I got an offer, $53, and that's what they're gonna go out of here for. So um, that is what it is. But yeah, carnivore, I just, I keep getting kicked out of keto because of carnivore and I uh, just, and when you go to go back in, man, it is tough because your body just doesn't know how to process not having any carbs and you're tired because you don't have any energy. The last item that I sold, I sold on um, on Facebook here. It is this box here. And uh, I will send Angie a picture so that she can put a picture of it up on the screen right here. But it is a clutch and it is a big expensive clutch. Now I actually technically lost money on this because I bought it for full price and full price was $2,155. But that full price came from car parts. Um, I didn't have any of my true money in it, but I sold car parts to make that $2,155. In order to get this, we thought that I had a blown clutch in my car, and I was like, well, if I'm gonna go and replace the clutch, I'm gonna get a bigger one, and I got this one, and it turns out that the clutch was not blown. Uh, it was another problem, so I was able to fix it much cheaper, and I held this for, I've had it for two years now. I was like, it's time to let it go. But uh, that clutch sold for $1,850 and it sold quick. I only had it listed for maybe two or three hours. And I was kind of surprised because it is a very specialty clutch and it's very high end and it does not appeal to everybody. So um, I definitely got lucky in that it sold quickly. That recoups my last couple of days. So if you do 431 plus the 25 for this guy, that is 455, give or take, um, plus 1850 for the clutch and 250 for the bumper that sold. That is 21, 25. 2555 in the last we'll call it two days um not too bad not not too bad that's uh that's definitely where i want to be it's not how i want to be there i want to see ebay picking up more three sales in two days and one of them being um so well, four sales technically four sales in two days and one of them being a sale from facebook is not cool definitely not cool so we would definitely want to pick that up but uh, that's what i've got i will see you again tomorrow on thursday all right, guys, I am back and it is Thursday. So we have some orders to pull and I wanted to talk to you about something here um, and see how you guys would handle it. So comment down below on what you would do in a situation like this. I sold this item. It is a carpet stretcher. I picked it up when Scott and Christina were up here with us for the Trading Post Pickers. I picked it up, I gave like 10, 10 bucks for it maybe, uh, because cops were good. Cops were real good. These carpet stretchers like this, especially this one, that's a, a more industrial use one. Carpet stretcher, that kind of thing, uh, it sold for $99.95. Now it was weird. I had an offer of like 50 bucks and I declined it and I sent them back an offer for 90. They replied with an offer in the 80s, but before I could even take the offer of in the 80s, it sold at full price. I gave 10 bucks for it. I was going to take whatever offer closer to 100 they could get, you know, as long as it was like above 70 or 80. So I was going to take it. Um, but they went ahead and bought it at full price. And then when I went to look at this thing, it sold total all in, and it's going to just Pennsylvania. Now, remember, I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio, near Cincinnati, Ohio, I'm in Indiana, but it's not that far to Pennsylvania. Maybe at the very most, eight hours, depending on what side of Pennsylvania. I can be in Pittsburgh in a little under four, or a little over four, excuse me. I can be to Pittsburgh in a little over four. So it's not going very far, but it went for $174.59. So I was like, what in the world? Why is shipping so much on that? I screwed up. I put shipping of this thing being 54 pounds. I don't know why I put it at 54 pounds, but somehow or another, I put it at 54 pounds. So shipping was outrageous. They've agreed to pay the 174.59. They went ahead and paid it. Do you refund them? Because I know it's not going to weigh 54 pounds. It's it's might you know it might be 10 15 pounds at most. I don't know why I put 54. No idea. Uh, it's going to be, I think they paid like 50 or 60 bucks in shipping. It's not going to be that. It's going to be 10, 20 bucks in shipping probably. So what do you do? Do you refund it? They agreed to it. They're okay with it. 
that's profit in your your uh, your pocket. I'm not going to refund it. I'll tell you right now. I'm not going to refund it. Yes, it was a mistake on my behalf, and that's why it hadn't sold yet, but they were willing. So that tells me that either that's a rare item, and there were people out there looking, or uh, they just needed it lickety split. So they were willing. I'm going to charge it. I'm going to take that as a profit. Uh, I would eventually have found it when I would have audited my store, but that is part of what, you know, because I was looking at my total. I was like, what in the world? I sold five items for $391.90. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't, I didn't sell that big of items. So how did I make that much? But, uh, yeah, it just happened to be like that. So that one, $99.95 plus shipping, getting out of here, and obviously a big profit maker in shipping. I've got a Blue Point water pump fan clutch pulley holder. This is a specialty, specialty tool. And because of that, I think I had it listed at $69 and some change, maybe. And I took an offer of $51 because it is such a specialty tool because it's for uh, specifically, I think, Chrysler's, GM Chrysler, that kind of thing. It is a very specialty tool, but it's brand new in the package and it was the only one out there like it. So I took an offer. I took an offer of it on for $50, $51, 51 going out of here. Next one. Man, I tell you what, we have sold these things a couple times. I think we always have problems with them. I don't, I can't remember. It's a we. You put your remote in it, and it acts like it's a, a pistol. Right down there. That guy. I feel like we have sold him a couple of times. Um, this one is missing the little orange piece that goes up here. And I think that that is notated in the advertisement for it. And it's still sold, $13.44. I believe it was on um, an offer. I think we gave an offer out on that one. Next one, uh, let's see, H4. It is a Incredible Hulk soap lotion and um, soap holder and lotion as well. I think it's back there, that it is. So you won't be able to see it, but you'll see it in the, uh, the listing when Angie throws it up. It's that guy, let's go ahead and scoot that back. There you go. Incredible Hulk already packaged, ready to go, nice. $39.99 but that's uh, before the 8% off. So that's, I don't like that about the coupon. Do you guys do coupons? I did start doing the coupons and they have been working, but I don't like that about the coupon is that you can't see what the total price is that they actually paid. Um, I mean, you can see the total, but you can't tell what they paid for this item as a subtotal, if that makes sense. Uh, like, look, this one sold for 8% off, but it shows me that the that's the actual, that what they paid is what, uh, is $29.98, but I know they didn't. They paid 8% less. So that's a little weird. Uh, this one, I got this in, an, um, it is a hand crank emergency radio. I think it's marked American Red Cross. Uh, I already forgot which bin I'm going to. I'm going to B3. And I got this in electronics lot off of Facebook Marketplace. There was a set of Bose headphones in it and they wanted $100. I knew the headphones were gonna sell for 250. So I grabbed it and then they had like this, they had that um, that toolkit there and a bunch of other little things in it. And I was like, well, you know, it's probably going to get 100 bucks. probably get me 350 was my guess. And um, yeah, stuff has been trickling out of here. Here it is right there, $29.98 plus shipping going out of here. So that one is the last of my orders. Pretty easy, pretty easy day. Pretty easy shippers. You know, I'm just going to ship this. I'm going to wrap it in the cardboard. I'm going to throw this in some bubble and in a poly mailer or a bubble mailer. This is just going to get in a box. Hmm, I don't know what box it's going to fit in, but it might go in an 888. This one, at the very worst, will go in an 181212, but I'm hoping it will fit in a 121212. It might. It might if I turn that around like that. So I'll hope that that gets in there just like that and then I'll be done shipping in a matter of 10, 15, 20 minutes at the very most and we're going to run it down with this guy to ups because that's the golf clubs from yesterday that i have not got out yet because they're going to ups and we don't go to ups very often so what do you think guys comment down below let me know what you think about the shipping debacle would you refund on that i'm not going to refund i need the money no not really but you know it's one of those things they've agreed to it i have to think about that they've agreed to it i don't share my shipping with uh my shipping discount with the buyer and i know a lot of e ebayers do thinking you're paying fees on that you're paying fees on the total so you, when you share the discount with your buyer you're losing money and it doesn't make any sense if they're agreeing to shipping just take it that's in my mind that's the way i say to do it but uh it is what it is so let me know what you think down below like like share comment subscribe do all that kind of stuff and i will see you on the next one